But why would she have any loyalty to me? Because I because I beat her in a sniper battle? I didn't really do anything. We're continuing to monitor him to make sure he doesn't try anything. Okay, the Wolfer gear should be interesting to have as well. Alright, anything new? Specify a project. Nothing particularly interesting. We need to do a mission and get some more people in here. Please specify a project. Sneaking knife. Use to do it, kill enemy command to have him kill an enemy. Whoa. Yeah. And I can do that because I have an electro spinning specialist. Oh. Oh, I've got the stun version. Right. Okay. Alright, let's do a mission. Please select a mission. Well, we need to get the helicopter here first. Please select landing zone. Alright, dude. Alright, I know I know you want some light. This is B Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. See, it seems like Quiet's just going to sit around for now. This is Pequot! On station at LZ! Remember that water tank shaped object in Emmerich's lab in the Soviet base camp? The thing that started talking to you like a possessed answering machine. That was a pod belt for housing the AI used to control unmanned weapons. You remember, back in 74, in Costa Rica. It was in those machines you fought there. They were designated Pupa, Chrysalis, Cocoon, and Basilisk. And each of them was fitted with an AI unit called the Reptile Pod. Emmerich created it. It mainly handled the machine's posture control and autonomous behavior. But the Basilisk, aka Peace Walker, also featured a second AI pod. That one was called the Mammal Pod. And it was created by Dr. Strangelove. She tried to recreate the boss's personality through the mammal pod. But you pulled out its Extraction arrived. Yeah, so it's telling us what I already know from Peace Walker. But surely Strangelove is involved somehow in this. Plant side ops list updated. Like your horse, you Plant give commands to need dog as well. He'll normally follow you around. You can also make him wait somewhere or lure an enemy by barking at him. Or you can sick him on the enemy to slow him down. Develop new gear just for him, but I'm sure he'll be capable of even more damage. Yeah, okay. So let me just listen to the end of that cassette tape. Even though, like I said, especially if you know your Peace Walker, then it should be fine. Remember that water, but you pulled out its memory board. That's when it transferred its own functions to its reptile pod. Just like a human brain compensating for damage by using the remaining healthy parts. The result was a unique entity. A hybrid of the reptile and the mammal. It sank to the bottom of Lake Nicaragua with Peace Walker. But apparently they salvaged it and transported it to that lab. Don't let it deceive you, Snake. It may sound like the boss, but it has neither a personality nor a will. Like Emmerich says, it's just a machine. DD makes a pretty good partner, huh, boss? Too early to say. Yeah? Just seeing him come back makes me real proud. What breed is he? He's not a husky. You're right. A Siberian husky is a cross between a spitz type dog and a wolf. That thing DD might have some wolf blood in him, too. He isn't just smart. He's also shown remarkable judgment. If he doesn't do what you want him to, he's just doing what he thinks is right in the situation. And he's steady under fire. Remember, he's no lab dog. But learn his strengths, and you'll understand each other soon enough. You'll make one hell of a team. Ocelot. Why'd you take it upon yourself to train him? Huh? Why? Yeah. When's the last time you heard a wild cat raising a dog? I have an eye for him. I know at first glance he'd make the right partner for you. <laughs> and I figured it was about time he got out into the world. Please so you passed him off on me. There, you see? I knew you liked him. I don't know about that yet. I still think he's trying to figure me out, too. I'll spend some more time with him. You'll see how helpful he can be. What about you? I prefer to work alone. Ocelots don't hunt in packs. Yeah, something like that. 
Anyway, I'm glad you like him. Dee Dee's really taken to you, too. And to going on your walks. Don't be shy about taking him with you in the future. I'll think about it. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely take him with me. Right. Um, I think everything's fine. It talked about explosives. I've got C4. I think it'll be fine. Let's just get on with it. Deploying. I think I might have to stop here because it's been a fairly long session and I've got other stuff to do before tomorrow so it's definitely enough here for quite a few episodes and we've got some story in there as well so it's been a pretty successful session I would say Angola's Mfinda oil field, upstream from the landing point. A spill has covered the whole area and crude. A pipeline that crosses the Muneni River failed, and now the shore's a mess. Not to mention the villages downstream have no drinking water. to the pipeline from that facility. Taking it out should end the leak. The client this time is an environmental NGO. Destroy the facility. Stop that leak. This may seem like straight up philanthropy, but there's another reason we agreed to it. The Mafinda oil field was outdated. Abandoned. Then the rebel group United moved in, taking it upon themselves to kickstart operations. United's been rapidly modernizing its arsenal. Rumor has it someone's been selling them U.S. military hardware. Intel's analysis suggests the broker's a front company, Cypress. Keeping tabs on United could tell us who's pulling its strings. Mm. Yep. Another Cypher angle. Oh, so I guess my people are ranking up, right? That makes sense. And I guess I'll probably have to complete a few missions before... Uh, or quiet can start coming with me. That's step one to tracking down Skullface. And Cypher with him. Good luck, boss. Alright, finally. Your way to the oil facility. It's to the north, past Buala Yamasa. The village is currently occupied by Unida, so stay sharp. Wow. Looks wonderful different atmosphere going on okay I think I'm gonna end for today I'll have a look at this uh, reward stuff first and then I shall end I saw a blueprint thing whatever okay so does that mean I can develop something new please specify a project it looks like the same stuff at first glance. Alright, okay. I'm calling it a day. I will see you guys with more action fairly soon. Take care. Alright, what's up guys? I'm back with more Metal Gear Solid 5. In fact, this is just a few hours after the last session that I did because I just couldn't resist coming back for one more session before bed. I just had to do it. So here we are with uh, with Dee Dee. Beyond there, he's outside the mission area. All right, fine. I thought something interesting might happen, but that was wrong. So yeah, here we are with Dee Dee out in Africa, trying to find clues as to how we can deal with Skullface and Co. But yeah, let's just uh, let's take in the surroundings a little bit. Looking mighty fine. Kind of uh, uncharted esque. I'm sure, we'll be seeing similar. The war industry we started has taken a pretty crooked course these past nine years. With no other options, soldiers have become dogs of war, sent to conflict zones as private forces or PFs. 
Guys we fought alongside are dying all around the globe for no reason. No banner. But it's how they survive. The demand for PFs here in Africa is especially high. Cold War standoffs, resource exploitation, the tribal clashes. What's big business for developed countries has only brought conflict here. That mess you're standing in is just the latest example. Interesting. So yeah, uh, I remember the the red the red banner traders are called. I forget what the name was, but yeah, there was uh, some interesting stuff shown in that trailer. But it's been so long since I saw it. All I remember is just the general idea of it. I don't remember anything specific. All right, so yeah, I definitely established that you can't do any kind of climbing there, and that uh, I think this is the Enemy the way through. The map has been updated. Is it up here? I think so. Well, we're getting somewhere. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Want to be careful here. Because it seems a lot more closed off. It's kind of like... This is kind of more Metal Gear Solid 3 type environments in the sense that it's much narrower at the moment. Oh. Just as I said it. <laughs> um, okay. You've arrived at Masa Village. It's been turned into a supply hub for Unida, meaning it'll be stocked with weapons and resources. Should be a thing or two that'll come in handy. Don't be shy. They deserve to be in better hands. The map has been updated. Okay. Right, so D-Dog, because of his powerful senses, can already mark people before I've kind of even got there. Okay. Any more? It's this guy. He's not bad. So yeah, it's not as narrow as I thought. There is some a nice wide open base. I'm pretty sure it's a common theme of this game. It's just going to be like that the whole time. Analysis complete. I don't think we're going to have too many narrow places. Right. Anyone else? Doesn't seem to be Enemy presence detected. that populated. The map has been updated. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go down there slowly. Caution! Rain approaching. Ah, oh, there's another guy. Analysis complete. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna move. Go. They're still relatively close to each other, so yeah, that's going to happen. I feel like telling D Dog to wait, actually. Talk to DD. Alright, good boy. Curious about his buddy. Might try and see who see him. Just like that. Now that I've got twenty four Fultons, I might as well just and everyone. Is 
since I remember you could like rip posters off the wall. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. The GMP, but I guess not. I forgot about that guy coming back. D Dog, you need to come in here, man. He's not coming in. The fact that they're here as a pair is not good. But I think they've just given up. here. Obviously I don't have an interpreter for these guys, so analysis complete. I, I wanna stop taking on D level people man. I don't want to overcrowd the base with crappy people. Because he said this place has a lot of supplies, I want to make sure I, I make the most of it. Right. Ah. Children. Child soldiers. Children there are abducted and trained to be soldiers. They're only taught to fight. And one day they grow up and teach the next generation the same way. With a gun in his hands, a kid is as dangerous as any adult. Only they don't know a thing about right and wrong. Okay. Boss, do not hurt any child soldiers. If you do, the mission is over. So here we go. Here's one of the, the controversial boundary pushing areas of this game. Child soldiers. If anything, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna be pushing the boundaries like this, then it makes sense that you would you would kind of give players the freedom to still do whatever they like. I mean, the fact that they're drawing the line there is interesting. I mean, I'm not saying because it'd be good to be able to do it. I'm just saying if they're willing to get into this kind of thing, they should probably just let you do what you want. I mean, maybe I'd want to capture them, take them to Mother Base, but not, not to make them soldiers, but just to get them away from here. I don't know if I can do that, for example, but we'll have to see. So yeah, it was in that red banner trailer that I was talking about. Oh my god, they're all coming over here. What are we going to do? And yeah, we'll have to see as we progress forward how it's going to go. I mean, I guess even if you act, Clouds even if you, even if you accidentally kill one, it's still, it's still game over. So I have no idea. I have no idea how I'm going to deal with that, but we'll see. I don't have a choice here but to just wait like this and make use of reflex mode because there's a whole team of them coming. So many. I don't know what they're expecting from me here. But they're in the lower section. Hold on. Let me get down while I can. And take this guy away. Because he fell down, he's no longer sleeping. No, that's not what I want to do. I'm going to drop him. Is he good? Yeah, he's good. Okay. Up you go. 
Oh, they put the they put the children to sleep. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if I'm able to you can to fault on these kids to to what I would consider safety. Surely we can take them to mother base and kind of take care of them. But yeah, it's always a controversial and unfortunately still relevant topic in today's world. In fact, there's a film coming out soon with uh, mm -hmm. Idris Elba that kind of goes into this whole child soldier issue in Africa. Oh, he oh shit, he doesn't realize that D dogs with me. Come with me. I th I thought I heard someone speaking English, but talk. Huh? The PF soldiers are speaking Afrikaans, an official language of the Republic of South Africa. Boss, we're going to need someone with the Afrikaans interpreter skill to understand what they're saying. We'll look into it here, but for now, you'll just have to make do without one. I do like this interpreter uh, skill thing. I think it's uh, it's quite a good way to do it. It leaves you with a choice. Either you take the time to do it or you don't. <laughs> 